This is my first time recording something for anyone to actually look online and want to learn a little bit more about Cinema 4D. I want to get, want you everybody to know that I am a beginner at this. I've um, been playing around with the software for a few months. But I've learned some things that I actually like to use, like shortcuts or setting up my workspace to basically help me produce something quicker. As you can see uh, here on Cinema you have all your basic icons. Uh, you have your model, your texture, your work plane, your points, edges, all the stuff that you normally use day by day. And over here on the other side you have your objects and every time when you create an object, for example, you just create a cube and you'll see it here. Underneath that you'll see another window basically explaining the size of the cube, uh, how many segments does the cube have, um, you know, it has a thread or rounded uh, corners. All this is, as you can see, it is as is. This is how Cinema 4D comes. Top bar, left bar, and your windows on the right side. So let's say if I click on something here or I'm clicking things here and here and there but I have to go back and forth and go across from one side to the other and do some changes I mean this gets kind of tedious I know I'm being picky about things but I like I like everything in one place so for example I want to move this bar over here set it here I have it on the side and that's awesome but the only problem that I'm getting here is that now if I close down um, Cinema 4D all this information that I just did will actually move towards the orig original place to stop it from moving your icons back or starting up the same uh, in its initial setup you want to go in into Windows customization and save your startup layout. That way, whenever you come back to Cinema, when every time when you load Cinema up again, you'll have your icons on the side, and your and your menus, however you had it set up. Let's say you want another one of these icons over here. You can do that. I mean, let's look it up. Let's look one up. So current state of to the object, you want to look that one up. So you go to customization, custom, customize your layout, and you basically look for for that uh, icon. So let's say current state to object. Current state to object. There it is. So let's drag that over here to the side, put it in, and voila. There you go. You have it. So that's my maybe five minute tip and hopefully this will help you out. I mean creating or setting up your icons and your shortcuts on your menu toolbar. And also I want to point out let's say you want this was something extra let's see right here your content you want to be able to you can actually move that there in the middle so now you have all three of them uh, or you want to move this to the side and then you have all your things I mean all your objects and all your work onto the side and then you have all these other windows open that you can actually use